Good day and welcome to Arise. Last week we spoke about Isaiah 66 and the prophetic word that God will bring to pass. And today I want to continue on what God says. Because remember, last week we spoke about God will make it happen because he said it in his word. But now there's the other side to the scripture. And it says, before Zion travailed, she, she gave birth. That was number seven. Isaiah 66 verse seven. Eight says, who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall a land be born in one day? or shall a nation be brought forth in a moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth as her children. Verse 9, shall I, bring to the mo shall I bring you to birth and not cause you to bring forth? Now, we spoke about when there's a prophetic word on your life, God will bring it to pass. He will always stand true to his word. The Bible says heaven and earth is going to pass away, but not one word out of the word of God. Psalms 138 says that God has placed his word above his name, which means everything will fail except the word of God. Jesus Christ. Word, the word of Christ will remain forever, 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 forever. The Bible says it. But now here is the thing. When you get a prophecy, what is it that you and I need to do to make the prophecy come to pass? Number one, we've got to stay obedient to the Word of God. We cannot have a prophecy and go into a comfort zone. I cannot have a prophecy on my life, but I'm disobedient to the call and the voice of God. When God speaks a word in my life, I've got to work the Word. Number one, I've got to walk the Word. I've got to live the Word because I cannot be, God cannot give me a word for Africa, but I'm living in New Zealand. If God gives me a prophetic word in Africa, Africa, for Africa, it will happen in Africa, then I've got to be in the position for the prophecy to come to pass. Amen. So if God says you and you are going to have a child, literally in the word, you're going to take, you're going to have a child. What God is going to do, he's going to bless you with a marriage before the child comes, because that is in alignment with God's word. God cannot give you a child or don't want to give us a child out of marriage because it'll be out of the word of God. We are out of the, the, the anointing of God. We are out of that covenant relationship with God. So whenever, if you desire a child today, God will bless you with the husband. God will bless you with the wife. If God wants to bless you in business, he will give you a business plan. He will give you nine out of 10 times. God will not even give you finances because he's already provided because not everything is about money. Favor, favor is not about money. God can bestow favor on you. God can give you a business without money. That's God because he can bring in the resources. He can bring them in from the north, the south, the east and the west. What we are talking about. This morning is, shall I bring you to the moment of birth and not cause you to bring forth? That can happen, providing that you are not in alignment with the will of God for your destiny. It can happen. But you know what? Here's the thing. If God said, I'm going to raise a mighty ministry in Ghana, in Sudan, wherever, if God said it and God has called you for that ministry and you are disobedient and you're not in the place where God has called you to be, you know what's going to happen? God will bring it to pass. The only thing is God wants to do it through you. But if we are disobedient, remember, there are someone else that is very obedient to the voice of God right now who's standing ever ready to be used by God. So let us get in alignment. Get us, let us be obedient. Let us be on our knees and in the word and focused on the word of God. Focus on the call of God so that God can bring you into the prophetic, so that God can allow you to birth the blessing. Stay blessed.